Knights U with the Batman boxers. I think Riddler kind of looks a little bit like Alfred E. Newman from Mad Magazine here, if you look at the Cotton Batman Robin costume t-shirts. This is Chris's first time appearing on a mug. I want to see Batman stuff. Let's, let's look around. The two face contrasting leg jeans. It's Batman and Wonder Woman. I knew it. Batman does have twin headlights, and it looks like they're both out, and that's a $50 fine in the state of New York. The black Batman Forever Barrette, a fine dollar value at 32 bucks. You know, I've seen so much Batman Forever merchandise today, I'm feeling a little bit discombobulated. I think I've actually reached my threshold of bat stuff. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm not going to buy anything today. I want to go home, clear out my checking account, and come back in a couple of weeks so I can plow out my entire summer line of batware. So Robin, let's go back to you in Central Park. And you know what? I'm really sorry about all the jokes you're going to get about your name all summer. No one saw me take this. John, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't remember them saying Dorian in the entire Batman movie. Anyway, when we come back, bat bombs, cape crusaders, goo guns, acid baths, and Jim Carrey in a tiny green mask. Nicole Kidman, Bruce Wayne's seductive psychiatrist, starred with the original Dark Knight of Gotham City, Michael Keaton, in what 1993 tearjerker? The answer, when we come back. Starred with the original Dark Knight of Gotham City, Michael Keaton, in the 1993 film, My Life. Welcome back to Flick. I'm Robin Dorian here in a very happening Central Park in New York City. Well, we're going to Batmobile crew all the way to Los Angeles for premiere of an indoor sort. The best thing was probably uh, getting to drive the Batmobile on the Batboat. But it's a lot of fun to dress up and, you know, especially for actors, that's all we do for a living. Do I have to wear tights all the time? When I was young, I, I, I fashioned them after me. I was very young and handsome like Bruce Wayne. Okay, there's Nicole Kidman and Tom Cruise up here. Unbelievable. We've had, like, stars galore. It was one of those films where you know you're going to go to the set and have a lot of fun. We've got the biggest and best stars in Hollywood in this movie. Where? <laughs> what, what hype? He, he's just an enduring legend. He's dark, but he's fun and he's good, you know? He's, he's got a dark edge. All people with dark edges don't have to be bad, you know? The bat signal pierces the evening sky. Gotham City is under siege. The Riddler has a secret weapon and teams up with the evil Two-Face. Could it be that Batman's crime-fighting days are numbered? <laughs> It be very difficult as far as a challenge to do the third in a series. It is, I guess, but fools rush in where angels fear to tread. I didn't think of it that way. Uh, when Bob Daly and Terry Semmel, who are the chairman of the board of Warners, asked me if I wanted to do the new Batman movie, I think the kid in me reacted first. Can I persuade you to take a sandwich with you, sir? I'll get drive through. I got into it and talking to the studio people that they wanted a different kind of tone to it um, all of which was really appealing hot entrance he was in the middle of Africa we couldn't find him for three days to ask him if he would play Batman and when his agent sent a runner out into the middle of Africa with a cellular phone to find him they found him in a bat cave. It's true. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm Chase Meridian. I asked Dr. Meridian to come to Gotham to consult on this case. She specializes in abnormal psychology, multiple personalities. I read your work. Insightful. Naive, but insightful. I'm flattered. Not every girl makes a superhero's night table. It's a great role to play, though, because you get to play yeah, kind of vamp fun. it up, yeah. but be smart and strong. Yeah sexually assertive. This is what I call it. <laughs> well, let's just say I could write a hell of a paper on a grown man who dresses like a flying rodent. Bats aren't rodents, Dr. Meridian. Really? I didn't know that. You are interesting. I think every character in Batman has the two uh, the dual personality syndrome. Even my character, even though she doesn't put on a suit, she still is trying to hide her um, obsession with the dark side. 
And what is the dark side? The dark side is her, you know, chasing after the wrong kind of man, which is Batman. <laughs> this is an ensemble cast. Uh -huh. and, and what you've been doing lately, I mean, you are the star, the big kahuna, the whole enchilada. And then this one... Keep going. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> but the this cream of the crap, the top of the heap. <laughs> New York, New York. <laughs> In this one, you're you're amongst the group. Why why did you want to do this? Uh, to humble myself. Very few people are both a summer and a winter, but you pull it off nicely. What's the point, big boy? I am the Riddler. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a giant question mark. Has anybody ever told you you have a serious impulse control problem? This is the point. I wanted to do it because it's, uh, it is the type of thing where really top flight people come together and have fun. This is how I found you. Let me demonstrate. <laughs> Is your brain on the box? Ah! This is my brain on the box. Does anybody else feel like a fried egg? This is a cartoon, and and over the so-called over the top or overly exaggerated acting style is uh, performing style is um, part of the job description. Uh, and and how far is too far? I don't know. Somebody's supposed to tell me that. Is that what attracted you to this role, knowing part that? Part of it, yes. Another part of it was my son's enthusiasm for Batman and all the Batman characters. You will help me steal production capital so I can put a box on every TV in town and become Gotham's cleverest carbon-based life form. And in return, is everybody paying attention? My son is still enthusiastic about it. He's very, very happy to uh, now, now th that the movie's coming out. and. Um, and I'm, I'm, I, like, I like it when he's happy. I will help you solve the greatest riddle of all. The mother of all riddles. Who is Batman? When I grew up, it was always Batman and Robin. So, you know, I thought, well, let's bring Robin in. And I was very lucky that Chris O'Donnell said yes, because I think he did a fantastic job. I need a name. Batboy, Nightwing. I don't know, what do you think? What's a good sidekick name? How about Dick Grace and college students? This Robin's very macho, kind of a bad boy. He thinks he's, yeah, he thinks he's very, very tough. <laughs> he's not? No, I think he is. I think he is. You're looking at your new partner. No. Bruce, whenever you go out at night, I'll be watching. And wherever Batman goes, I'm going to be right beside him. I mean, how are you going to stop me? I can stop you. I read a lot about Val Kilmer talking about the weight of the suit. His was heavier than mine. He, uh, especially the second suit he gets, is like has this really heavy cape. Um, my costume wasn't that bad. It gets, it does get very hot. What do you suggest, Alfred? By sea or by air? Why not both? There's something very satisfying. <laughs> about this big rubber suit. Who's your tailor? I don't remember at which stage they admitted that it shrinks, but that was something that was unusual. <laughs> yeah, it shrinks, the kind of leather, um, rubber that they, they chose because of how it looks. It doesn't breathe and it shrinks. So you can only wear them for so long and then they're too small. Okay, we give that one to Chris, and uh, they'd cut it up, repaint it, put the R on there, and off you go. Seal is one of the music superstars on this action-adventure soundtrack. Well, Flix visited the set of the making of his music video, directed by Joel Schumacher. There used to be a gray and tower alone on the sea. It wasn't right to put on the first album, so um, I saved it for the second one. And it just so happened that Joel heard it, and he liked it. Now, knowing the script for the movie and seeing snippets of it, I, I can understand why he, he liked it, why he wanted it for the movie. If 
one didn't know, you could, you, one would think I actually wrote it for the movie. Well, coming up, Batman's arch enemy, Jim Carrey, goes from dumb to even dumber in a blockbuster video pick. What important distinction do Batman's Belle Kilmer and Disney's Pocahontas have in common? The answer when we come back.